I see it. There's something coming. Should I take the hay away so you don't have babies on it? I'm sorry, baby girl. Were you in labor all night? You were fine last night. I know. I figured. I take this hay away for now, okay? So you can have more room. Okay, I got you. Right there. I'm right here with you, okay? We're, ha we're doing this. You're doing a good job. 7.30 in the morning. I'm glad I started coming at 6 these days, but... If you want to lay down, okay, those are hooves. And that's a head. Okay, I know. Yeah, my 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 niece doesn't have a babe. Can we just hurry up and get this one out? I know, you're doing great. Actually. Okay. It had a leg in the back and it had meconium, so this baby has been struggling a little bit to come out. Okay. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the world. I think you're a buck because you have big teeth. Let me see. Oh, you're a buck. There we go. Gaia? Oh. Look at this, he even pooped. Those are little berries. Hi sis, can you see them there? Can you see them here? She has another baby there. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Your mom is doing a great job cleaning you. Such a good mother. If Gaia would have had this baby last night or just an hour prior, I opened the barn. I wouldn't have known what baby was, you know, which baby was which. But he knows what he's doing. He's ready to go get some milk. Ma, stop cleaning me because I'm hungry. Please stop eating my umbilical cord. I know. I know. There he goes. Oh, such a strong little boy. Such a oh, look at him. Look at him looking for a deed. It's right here, dude. It's right there. You got it. Look. <gasps> Such a smart boy! No, no! Just as I say that you're smart. Come on! You can do it. Go, go drink some milk and help your mama. Again? You don't get it, dude. Come on. You pooped already. You, you got life figured out. 
Maybe. It's right here. You can do this. Yeah, come on. Right there. They get so stubborn when you hold their heads. Right there, dude. Your mama's standing for you. I'm pretty sure that what I was feeling, it's a kid. Pretty sure. But she is not interested in pushing just yet. Let's see if we can have him nurse. And that will help her contract. No, dude. Wrong spot. Goodness gracious. Just discovering the pen. The kidding pen. Oh. Do I need to get him out? I just don't want you to step on him. Come on, sir. You can do this. I swear you're smart enough to do this. His heart is beating so hard. Triple checking, he's a dude. Right here. I don't understand how you can't realize what that is. Oh, finally. It's like, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I found it. Is it coming out, though? Seems like it is. Down there. Down there, dude. You, you just lost it again. They were down there. You just have to open your mouth. Seems like she's contracting now. So he might have to wait. Maybe not. Maybe he keeps sucking. Oh, good boy. I am starting to worry a little, I'm not gonna lie. She should have pushed the other baby out. And I don't know with her because like last year when she gave birth, my kids helped her. But I am just afraid that she's been laboring for too long now. Okay, he's right here, you're gonna be fine. Just push that baby out. Oh, there's a bubble coming. Big bubble. Come on, Gaia. Come on. You can do this. It always worries me when they take this long. Usually, well, I'm lying. My girls the ones that I've helped before or been here for their births they push them almost like a minute from each other and uh, five minutes at the most so, yeah she's pushing struggling a little bit to breathe 
Gaia. Look, maybe mom. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now my mom can stimulate you a little bit more. Are you having mini me's? Good job. Gaia, look. Look. There's a new baby. Gaia. It's like, oh, cool. Another baby. For baby Gaia. I don't know what this one is. But it also had meconium. Uh, not only this yellowy stuff, but can you see how it had pellets? Which, again, I don't understand. But... I'm gonna research a little bit more about it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And, um... Are you eating, dude? Oh, you're trying. Good job. Well, that's a leg. Did you find that one, dude? He found it. Good job, Gaia. Good job, sweet girl. You did great. <laughs> I get the suspicion that we're gonna have lots of chamoisee this year. We'll see when this baby dry out. They'll still be chamoisette, but we'll see what coloring they have. What are you? Don't tell me you're a little boy. Are you a little boy? No, this is a little girl. Hi, little girl. Hello. You're very pretty. Just like your mama, pretty. Well, you don't look like your mama. You kind of look like your daddy. Come on. Uh, your mama is a pretty girl. Yes, ma'am. Such a good job you're doing, guy. I'm proud of you. Yes, ma'am. Hi, baby girl. Do you need something? Your mom is doing a great job. Yes, yeah, she's a she's a good mom. Yes, and you're a pretty girl. You're a good girl, Gaia. Mommy, I wanted to get out. <clears throat> what happened to the first one was that he was coming head first. So what happened is he was coming head first, pretend this is the head, and then 
a, a leg that was coming kind of right behind the head. So all I did was pull this leg. You never pull on the head. You pull on the leg. And uh, I pulled on the leg and then the leg stretched and it was way um, beyond the head and it comes right out. Yes, one of the legs was back of that little boy who's not little, but um, just pulling one leg is okay. You don't, you don't need to go in all the way to try to feel for the other leg. You don't need both legs. You just need one and you never pull on the head. You pull on the legs. That's what I've learned recently. Not that I've done it before, but that's what I've learned. Um, I, you know, it's the more you do this, the more you learn. And if I can help not going in, which is something that when you are in the moment, that's what you want to do. You want to go in, grab the baby and get it out. Uh, sometimes we have to understand that in order to dilate, she needs to contract and she needs to push. And goats, like humans and like other animals, they need the time to dilate. You know, if you go to the doctor as a human and you try to give birth to a baby and when you are three centimeters dilated, they're gonna say, no, you need more than that. So I try to, what are you doing, Karen? I try not to go in unless I feel like she's, you know, been added for 30 minutes, nothing is coming out of it. I need to fix this and then I'll go in but there are a lot of things that you can do just by pulling a leg that will avoid that situation now there are situations where there's no other way you, you have to go in but if there's a bad first situation and you can see the hawk like this part and the bum Last year what I did to rear, I, I hooked my finger like this and the hoof came right out. And as the hoof came out, then the entire baby came out. Like it was small enough that she could pass it like in one push. The problem was that this part and the hawk, they were all stuck in the canal. That was for Briere last year and again, before you go in, Try to hook your finger around one of the hooves. It doesn't need two, just one. And try, because, you know, it's always better to try not to go in because it's scary, because you can tear something if you don't know what you're doing, if, you're, if your nails are long. Hi, sweet, hi, sweet dude. You guys are so stinking cute like your mommy. Cute like your mama. So, yeah definitely is something that I try like I go through charts that say this is how you do this or this is how you do that you know again the more kiddings you have the faster you know the more you learn and clearly not all babies have a good GPS system let me help her oh 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 what's what's up why are you not she tried to reject her baby last year. She's not doing that right now. She's talking to them. She's cleaning them. She likes them. But um, sometimes when they do stuff like that, people assume that, you know, look at that baby boy. He's, he's pretty big compared to his sister. And they're both good sizes. Well, I'm glad that we're, uh, we're done by 8 in the morning. Woohoo! Proud of you, Gaia. Very proud of you, sweet girl. But we gotta feed these babies, okay? So let me help the little girl, because I don't think she nursed yet. Good job. No, you're doing it wrong. Hi, baby boy. Look at him. Gaia, you're such a good mama. 
Yes, me. These are monkey babies. And I'll come back and I'll show you when they're dry. Hello. Hello, sweetness. Hello, boy. Hello. You give me kisses and love. Hello. It's okay. Don't be jealous. It's just saying breath. Hi to Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Say hi, Grammy. Hello, little boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so not ready. Oh, there you have your horn buds. She um, kind of looks like monkey, but she has less white than he does. And since Gaia has this roaning now, I don't know, because she used to have a lot more. She does too. Oh, baby boy, I'll help you find the other teeth. Because your sister is like not getting it. Your placenta is not out yet. I'm glad you're enjoying the snacks in the meantime. on the other side of the world. Oh, you're nursing your baby. Good job, Annie. Well, they're not gonna follow you outside, that's for sure. The more than they nurse, the faster that she'll pass that placenta. And they want to nurse. I mean, there's no way they don't want this. Good job, Gaia. I'm so proud of you. You're a good, good girl. Yes, ma'am. And you're such a good mom, you love your babies. Good, good girl. I know. I'm gonna give them some space and I'm gonna get the stuff ready to dip their umbilical cords. I'm gonna give them a good dry. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit more straw in the areas that it's kind of wet. Take out that wet stuff and put a little bit more of that dry. Hi, dude. Hello. Oh, you want to eat hay? You're too little. You're too little. Okay. Now we have some fresh straw, so they're not sitting on cold anything. It's not cold today, we're probably in the 50s right now. But, I'm gonna try <laughs> this guy. He just wants to be... Okay. I need to buy you a hay feeder for the here. Keep saying that, but I can't find the one that I want. She thinks I have a teeth and she's not having it. She's not happy about it. I don't have a teeth, dude. Your mama has a teeth. Look. Is that mama of yours? She has lots of milk. What a good mother. Right, babies? I'm gonna let them bond with mom. I'm gonna bring some grain for Gaia. And I'll be back later with some scissors to clean up umbilical cords. Hi. Feed your child, Gaia. No, that's not where it is, little girl. I just want to give her a good break so she's not stressing over what the babies, you know, what I'm doing to the, her babies and at the same time I need this break to 
go do the other animals like the dogs are still in the boys haven't eaten and so that's pretty much it